Hi, this is Chris from Discovery Learning. We've had a number of people in the last few weeks requesting a demonstration of how you can get our Learn Dash Topic Progression plugin to work with Adobe Captivate, as in what are the specific steps that you need to take in a Captivate project in order to mark a Learn Dash Topic page as complete. So we're going to take a look at this now. So I'm using the latest version of Adobe Captivate to do this demo. This is version 9. So I'm going to start by creating a blank project and the canvas size I'm going to use is 720 by 440 which will nicely fit into one of my topic pages in LearnDash. So the first thing that I'm going to do with this project is remove the player bar that Adobe Captivate automatically places at the bottom of your project when once it is published. To do this you go into a project and skin editor and just here in this box you can untick the show playback control button in order to remove that play bar from the bottom. So I'm not going to do much with the overall styling of this slide, this is just a, a quick demonstration. So I'm just going to move this title up to the top of the page and give it a title of congratulations. And I might, for example, add another text caption directly underneath to say that you have successfully completed this topic page. So with regards to what's going on in the timeline of this project, you can see when clicking on the timing tab in the right hand side of the window. If you don't have this window, by the way, you just need to click this properties button in the top right uh, hand corner of the interface. Uh, clicking the timings tab, you can see the slide duration of the project here. If you come down to the bottom of the screen and click this timeline area here, you can see everything that's going on within the project. So now I'm going to add a button to this slide, which we will use to trigger the Mark Complete process on the topic page. To do this, I just come to Interactions, click on Button, and that will add a new button to our window. So I'm just going to resize this button a bit, bring it back to the middle, and I'll give it a caption. If we click on the Properties tab once more, we can change the caption here to Mark Topic as complete. So now I'm going to click on the actions tab of the button where we can define exactly what goes on when the user clicks it. So what we need to do is under this on success drop down box this is where we need to select execute JavaScript. At this point you'll now get a script window button in order to write your JavaScript command. And this is exactly the same command as what you will find in our other video and also on our website. It is parent.submit with a small s, a capital L for learn, a capital D for dash, a capital T for topic, and a capital C for complete. Then open and close parentheses, and a semicolon to finish. Click the OK button. If you click this drop down button next to the script window button, you will see that you've got a number of different options for where exactly on the window that particular JavaScript command executes. We need it to execute on current because we've already included the parent dot at the start of the command. I have tried experimenting with using the parent uh, selection here, but I found that sometimes it doesn't work in Internet Explorer. What I'm going to do is untick the continue playing the project because we don't need it to continue at that point. And I'm going to make sure that the infinite attempts tick box is also ticked. Um, just because this provides additional options for what can happen with the button if it has been clicked more than once. But if we click infinite attempts, it just means that only this uh, script will execute for the button. Everything else I can leave as it is. And now I'm going to come back up to the top where we had timing, except this time it's going to show the timing for the button as opposed to the timing for the overall project. And you'll see here that it's only being displayed for a specific time. So what I'll do is I'll click this and choose rest of slide. And if I get rid of this pause after box as well, it'll just mean that the button will appear at zero seconds and will be visible for the entire duration of the project. So now we're ready to publish. So all we need to do is come up to the top of the window, click on this publish button and choose publish to computer. I'll publish to a folder 
I'll force republish on all slides, which will just mean that if I make any changes in the future, it will just overwrite everything in order to have a fresh copy of the project. And I'll choose Flash Player 10, which is the most recent version of Flash. So now I'm ready to upload my project to my web server in order to link to it as an iframe from within LearnDash. So here I am within the admin area of my LearnDash site. I've created a new topic and given it a title. And in the content area, I've inputted the iframe tag in order to link to the Captivate HTM file within my Captivate project that I've just uploaded to my web server. Make sure, of course, that you're in text view because we're writing in code here. Towards the bottom of the page, I've made sure that my topic page is associated with the course and module that I want it to be associated with. And using my plugin, I've ticked the box in order to hide the Mac Complete button on this page. If I now click Update, that will save all the changes on this topic page. And we'll now log in in another browser as a learner in order to see this in action. So here I am in my LearnDash site, logged in as a learner. I'm going to now access my course in which I have my Storyline and Captivate content. So when we come into the first topic in this course, you'll see that on this page I've got the Mark Complete button here as normal. Same thing for the next page, which just provides some of the information that I've given you in this video. So on this page, we'll see the storyline file, which I produced in the previous video. And you will see that the Mac Complete button is not visible on this page. So we'll interact with this piece of content built in storyline, and this will automatically mark this topic page as complete. So now here we are in the topic page that we have just created using Adobe Captivate. My content is loaded within the iframe. So all I have to do is click on the Mark Topic as Complete button and that will activate the JavaScript on the page in order to mark that topic page as complete. I hope that you found this demo useful. Remember that you can come to our LearnDash demo site at learn-demo.discoverylearninguk.com and log in as a learner yourself in order to see any of those plugins in action for yourself. Thank you very much. Have a great day.